easy does it now, darling? You wouldn't want to be hurting yourself now, would you? It would be such a darn shame, especially after all the trouble I've gone to in getting you here. Boss, are you sure about the- I warned you, Kineko. Do not question me again. Unless you intend to challenge me for control of this whole blasted organization. Is that what you were trying to do, Kaneko? I would highly advise against that if no. you were. Boss, I would never. I am loyal. Please believe me, I just... Get out. Do not question my decisions again. Yes, boss. As you say. I'll be outside if you need me. I won't. You are excused for the night. Do not bother me again on the summit. Uh, I... Of course, boss. Don't mind Kineko, sweetheart. She's just jealous. She and every other vampress in this organization has been vying for my attention for years. But none have ever captivated my heart. Not like you have. You are special. My moonlight cutting through the bleak loneliness of the endless darkness I am condemned to. Well, not that I can honestly say I mind being a vampire. It's, it's quite enjoyable. It does get lonely, though. <laughs> so many questions. I'm impressed that your mind can operate so clearly after being under such heavy mesmerizing. But then again, I already knew that you are special. You are unique. That's part of why I love you so. Now then, your questions. I would be a poor host indeed. <laughs> and an even worse level. If I did not at least try to clear away some of your confusion, let's start with where you are and who I am. <laughs> Maybe my name would be the best place to begin. Yes. Well then, my moonlight. I am Gai Chi. At least, that is what my subordinates named me back in the 1870s, when I and the original members of my organization first came to America. The name means justice. They call me this. Because justice is what I gave them. I will be happy to tell you that story at a later time. For now, let's get to more of your questions. Hmm? You want to know where you are. You presently reside in my private estate on the outermost edges of the city. Why? I should think that was plainly obvious, my moonlight. Because I love you. I've been watching over you for almost a year now. Stalking you in the evenings. 
watching you sleep at night, protecting you when you walk home from work. I even installed hidden cameras in your house. Don't worry. I was gentle and looked away when I should. Looking at your beloved on the screen in all her glory just isn't the same as beholding her in person. It's creepy, and I wouldn't stain our love like that. My, my, you sure can talk, can't you? I love it. I can't stand weak, whimpery doormats that start to crumble and weep. Backbone is far sexier. <laughs> I really do have exquisite taste in women. Well, woman, you will be my one and only for all eternity. Yes, I do literally mean eternity. Did you not hear me earlier, my moonlight? That I am not human? I haven't been human in a couple hundred years, darling. I am the undead, a vampire, an immortal predator of the night. And you... My moonlight, my bride, you will join me in eternity. And then I won't have to stalk you all the time to satisfy my need to be near you and neglect my work. My subordinates are getting somewhat frustrated with me. See, this is another reason why I adore you so much. Most women would be flipping out, screaming and hollering, becoming downright hysterical. But you stare at me so calm, asking questions. You are strong, my moonlight. Worthy to stand by my side. Oh, how I love you more and more seconds to burn. Mm. To start, yes. I literally mean to marry you. You will become my wife, and I promise you, you will come to love me as deeply as I love you. I can guarantee that. Ah, uh, alright, next, my work. Mm, this might take some explaining, you see. You humans have your various mafia crimes and goods. Well, so does the supernatural community, darling. I lead the vampire crime syndicate of New York. I have for 400 years. Well, 150 here in the United States. Uh, the rest of my activity was in Japan. We quickly took control of the criminal underground on the vampire end of things. To be honest, we might be looking at taking some werewolf territory as well. Mangy mutts contaminating my streets with their fleas and slobber. So disgusting. Ugh, I'd be doing New York a favor if I wiped them all out. They eat hearts, you know. Preferably human. At least vampires just take enough blood to survive. We rarely actually kill our victims. But I am getting off track, aren't I? I apologize for that, my light. You must have more questions.
When did I first begin stalking you? Oh. I'll never forget it. The first time I saw you, I was instantly in love. You were at the library. It was almost 11 at night. I just finished making a business deal with some succubi. I saw you there. Sitting all alone at that table. Bent over a selection of books. I didn't want to bother you. You looked so busy and concentrated. So cute. I assumed you were doing something important. So I just stayed hidden behind a shelf. Peering at you between some parted books. Hmm. You were so beautiful. There was such profound intelligence in your eyes. I wanted to know more about you. So I followed you. I followed you home to learn where you live. And thus began our story of eternal love. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm just a vampire in love. You should honestly be grateful I had so much restraint. A good many other vampires wouldn't have bothered with getting to know you better before snatching you. But I'm not like that. I have manners. And class. I'll make you happy, my moonlight. You'll see. Now. Look into my eyes. My beloved. That's it. That's right. Look at me. Look right into my eyes. Look into my beautiful, entrancing eyes. Eyes that shimmer and shine just for you. Good girl. Now tilt your head and show me that pretty neck. Hmm? Very good. I love you. My moonlight.